Hi everyone! So to start from the beginning, if you don't know who I am, I'm Sarah. I'm a freelance illustrator. I usually post digital painting and traditional art videos, but today I wanted to show you my bedroom makeover and why I downsized from the master bedroom, which is absolutely huge. I've never had a bedroom this big before and I decided to downsize. If you don't know, I purchased a house last year right when COVID was starting, which was hella stressful and difficult, but I at first split the mortgage with a roommate and I had the master bedroom while she had the smaller bedroom. Both bedrooms are a good size, but the master bedroom is absolutely huge. And so I've wanted to live alone again. And since she moved out, that room has just been sitting empty. I had two options to use that bedroom as a studio or to downsize my bedroom into that room and to use my very large, excessively large bedroom as the studio. And the logical choice or solution was that I should just downsize. Um, when I say downsize, the other bedroom is a really good size. There's nothing wrong with how big it is, but I don't need such a huge floor space in my bedroom when I'm just there to sleep. There's a very huge echo right now, but I wanted to tell you quickly about what I want to be painting on this wall, which is going to have the bed up on it. I wanted to do something like, it's gonna be an accent wall, but I think it's gonna go kinda cute. I have just a bare interior flat. I was just gonna use a paint sample, but samples only come in satin, and this is the Benjamin Moore White Dove. They're matte paint and I didn't want the black to be shiny so I'd buy a pint of it but let's get to work. <laughs> Oh, I'm scared. 
So I have my cute little kitty here. Look, did you show subs? You've, you've met subs. But the room, the wall is almost done. I have a tiny corner left. The rug I purchased has arrived. And then my bed frame, I bought an article bed frame, has arrived as well. I sold my old bed frame that was like this modern farmhouse whitewashed wood. I didn't want a bed with a headboard. So I thought I would switch it up a little bit and not have kind of like a plat, like a big platform, have a box spring than my bed. I thought it would be a little bit lower, so maybe that would be a cool look. I purchased a bed frame from Article, and I'm hoping that it's very cute and looks great because it, I mean it does online, and I'm very excited for it. But otherwise, I have to build the bed, put things on the walls, move my dresser in here, finish this wall up here, put up the light fixture, and then we'll almost be done. This was the moment that I realized I needed someone to help me, aka Zach. He had to help me hold up the bed frame as I put the legs in. So we finished building the bed frame off camera.
I, this is essentially the part that I hate the most. I'm gonna have to put in the ceiling light, which is not something I really wanna do. I've done before. I have a very old house from the 1920s and um, I might die. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but I'm not, kinda not. It's not recommended for you to change the electrical, I think, in a house. Can we focus on me? Um, it's not recommended to change the, how, the electrical in a house that I think is older than the 1960s or at least 1940s. My house was built in 1921, so happy 100 year anniversary and also it might kill me. So one of the really scary weird things about having an old house is that the wires aren't labeled. You don't know which is the white and which is the black, like positive and neutral I think they are. And so hopefully this works out and I don't die and my house doesn't explode and the electrical is all fine. But I'm in all seriousness being a little bit dramatic, I think it will be okay. It's just a nerve wracking thing for me to do and I kind of hate it. And also um, I don't want to like move the bed to put a step ladder where the light is. So I'm just gonna be standing on my bed even though um, I can barely reach it. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> bunch of dust just flying into my face. It was old. Um, okay. So, twiddle. Wow. Twiddle these guys together. <sighs> hate this! Hate doing this. So this is probably the most angry you'll ever see me get. People hate building furniture. I hate installing lights. I mean, I'm also like relatively short right here. You know, no. So what we need? Do we need cut more? Yeah, I think we need to do that. Holy poop! Well, thank God that I have the video because now I know which one fell out. Hopefully, I'm right, but really glad I was filming because otherwise, I wouldn't have no idea. I have another screw. I'm sweating hard by this point. Very hard. Okay. Moment of truth. I'm just gonna. Sleep. Yeah, that didn't turn on. Well, I am bummed. Yeah, I was too short, so I enlisted the help of a six foot two boy, but we got the light up. <laughs> Look at it, it works. So, the light is up. Zach helped me put it up, which was really frustrating because I turned it on and it wasn't working. I was really scared that the um, positive and neutral were switched and that the house would explode, but no, we got it. The light is working now. Um, and so AC is after like two hours, I can have it be up because it's 90 degrees outside my house. Um, it's like a little greenhouse with all the light coming in it, so it got super hot, so I was sweating a ton, and I was really frustrated, but everything is good. That was Klaus purring, don't mind him. But above the dresser, I wanted to have a four foot long floating shelf or just a regular shelf. So I looked around to see if I could find any live edge wood and I couldn't in the time frame that I wanted to finish this video. And also buying a four foot long shelf online is pretty expensive, I can't lie. So I went to the store, picked up some wood and then sanded it and stained it 
and covered it with some wax and that uh that i made shelf which i think is super cute i wanted a lighter natural color wood instead of the same like darker or mid-tone walnut and i think it matches very well i just wanted to go pink here i also wanted a haircut i like when my hair is shorter and my hair has been very damaged and fried recently it didn't turn out so cute in the end because I thought that you can use any old conditioner whenever you want to dye your hair like with semi-permanent color so i've been using a really crappy conditioner and it has a lot of alcohol so it dried my hair out which is kind of the opposite of what a conditioner is supposed to do but my hair is in a lot better moisturized condition right now just in this video it was a little rough This is my finished room makeover. I hope you enjoyed it and you thought it was cute. I've been in this room for a month and a half now and I've just been adding to it slowly just because I've been busy and also um, little things popped up like I was looking for a shelf and couldn't find one so I made one but I had such a good time like transforming this room and it's for sure uh, a great decision that I made to downsize my bedroom. Not a lot of people would do that, have like a smaller bedroom, but because it's smaller, it's a lot more cozy. And while my <laughs> while my previous bedroom was elite cozy, like I, I loved it, um, I worked in there a lot. So there's, I think, a difference. Of, when I come to this bedroom, I just clonk. Like I, um, I haven't really worked in this bed. Uh, and so I don't, 
really associate this bedroom with work and like any kind of stress at all. I just think it's really cozy and cute and <laughs> very picturesque. I mean, I love all of the plants that I have and I'm proud of myself for also being able to accumulate a ton of plants and to be able to take care of them. Um, all of them are pretty healthy and I started propagating some plants. So I've been, I've been having a good time just uh, transforming, transforming this bedroom. One of the things that I was kind of worried about was um, getting this platform bed without a headboard because I've had my like elevated bed, the, the one right at the beginning of the video that I sold, that I have loved sleeping on because it's so high. It just feels like very bougie and very comfortable. And so I was um, hoping that getting a lower platform bed wasn't going to just feel um, less cozy. But with the like room and the wall, I think this like size and like height of the bed works perfectly for making the room just seem very tall and large. But um, also the bed still is cozy, so. I will link as many of the products as I have to link down in the description below if you're interested in purchasing anything that I have, although um, I would definitely recommend you finding your own furniture and like thrifting or going to Facebook Marketplace. A lot of the things that I bought new were because I couldn't find anything that I liked that was secondhand or from Facebook Marketplace or thrifted. Ideally, I would have wished that a lot of my furniture here would have been thrifted in this bedroom while a lot of it in the rest of my house is thrifted. Um, bedroom furniture is harder to find, I think, and so a lot of this was new, but Hopefully, like in my other room makeovers, I'll find some good thrifted finds. But let me know if you want to see the studio makeover because my old bedroom is currently empty and it's not really a functioning, usable workspace yet. So if you're interested in seeing that, let me know. But I appreciate you being here and watching this video. Hopefully, it all came together because I have filled this over three hair changes and a haircut. My <coughs> it's not super art related but it's more like lifestyle personal related. Let me know if you enjoy seeing that. But I mean, I had a, a blast filming this and make, doing this room makeover, so I appreciate you being here. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but if you don't, you stink. So, I don't make the rules. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.